Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be discussing all the drops that have happened so far. We were on the ball when it came to Argos and Very at least, but we'll be discussing the Argos drop, the Very drop, and also, also the John Lewis drop. Sneaky, sneaky John Lewis came out of nowhere, seriously, dropped when everyone was asleep. I mean, I, I hate John Lewis, to be honest. Um, I, I don't really hate them. They give really good warranties, to be honest. I'll also be sharing my favorite tips for you guys that I've learned whilst doing all these restock videos. Plus, I came really close to securing a PS5 in the very drop yesterday. And I've learned some few things now. I've become a genius at securing PS5s. No, not really. But I did come really close when it came to the very drop. So please guys, watch out for these lessons as well. They're small little tips, but hopefully if you haven't managed to secure a PS5 yet, it'll help you secure a PS5. And also guys, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel so I can keep you up to date in regards to the latest video game news, upcoming films, TV shows, anime, lifestyle hacks, and much much more so guys let's talk about argos first as you guys might already know it dropped around 4 a.m yesterday will it be yesterday or yesterday yesterday whatever 4 a.m is guys i don't know how to calculate that but it dropped we were expecting it to drop on the 16th that didn't happen but then it dropped on the 17th so that went through that was legit news so i did a live stream as well you can check it out so some people some of our subscribers managed to stay up i think some people stayed up till 2 a.m and then thought oh it's not gonna drop and went to sleep but sadly i think it dropped around 4 a.m please let me know in the comments if that's correct i think it was 4 a.m and whoever was staying awake managed to cop argos i don't know if everyone managed to cop argos but some people did and as you know argos are really good when it comes to deliveries as well so congrats again to everyone that managed to cop on argos there have been some cancelled orders when it comes to argos because people were telling me that they've managed to get emails with cancelled orders and cancellations so that really sucks big time especially if you've stayed awake till 4 a.m and then you secure and you're really happy and you get a cancellation email i think that's the worst Worst thing ever like seriously the worst feeling So guys, please don't get demotivated if that was one of you. If you managed to get one of those emails, I'm pretty sure there's other drops that are incoming, mostly looking at curries. Sorry for the light. It seems to got really sunny all of a sudden, but who cares? It's better for my camera. Curries could be next as well, guys. I'll keep you updated on that. But congrats again to everyone that managed to secure on Argos. Guys, now let's move on to Very. Very dropped yesterday. The console edition launched around 1 p.m. And the digital version launched as well after, but I think they did it in little spurts. I wasn't there for the digital version, but I did a live stream and I was there for the console version and as i mentioned to you i was really close to checking out i was at the precipice where i was supposed to decide whether i become the thing i hate i become a scalper and sell it on ebay for a profit or whatever i wouldn't really do that or i just stay on the fence and well to be honest i just do this to show you guys how it can happen and just keep you notified when doing these live streams there's some lessons i learned which i'll be talking about later in the video whilst doing this very cop or well, fake cop because i didn't go through with it but i could have checked out if i wanted to so please guys watch the tips video that's coming up in a few seconds as well but yeah with very they dropped the console edition and then they dropped the digital edition as well so congrats again to everyone that managed to cop very congrats guys i know a few people from our community managed to get it so please let me know when you get your orders delivered guys let me know what you think about the ps5 in the comments if it was you that managed to grab the very drops please let me know and now guys let's talk about the sneaky sneaky john lewis as i mentioned before they dropped early morning today at 5 a.m that's what i've heard based on stock alert uk you can see their tweets as well so i i really don't understand why because based on the previous drop it was never this early like i think the previous drops were at a normal time normal human time so i don't really get why they decided to drop at such a weird weird time i think maybe they've joined the graveyard shift with argos or why they did this i don't know who's the genius that made the decision that oh let's drop at 5 a.m when everyone's asleep um okay so just give it to the bots then, I suppose, because they're the only ones that are awake at that time. Every normal person, every kid that goes to school, you know what I mean? Like, sorry, I'm going on a rant, but I'm, I'm just getting annoyed. Why would you drop it at 5 a.m.? I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about John Lewis, why they dropped it at 5 a.m. Did any of you manage to secure from John Lewis? I know a lot of you weren't expecting. I was talking in my videos. If you see any of my videos, I talked about how Curry's and John Lewis could come this week, but there weren't any signs as such where we had signs like for Very and Argos. So I'm really surprised with John Lewis too. So we can cut that off our list now but curries is still there guys like similar way like curries keep an eye on curries if i hear anything else i'll let you know but a lot of people were saying like stock alert uk was also saying that curries could drop tomorrow i don't think he meant today i think he meant tomorrow as in friday so we're keeping an eye on curries guys if you still haven't managed to get a ps5 but yeah that's what happened with john lewis guys a bit sad but what can you do you can't really predict these things can you guys now let's talk about my tips 
things that I've learned while seeing these drops, while doing the very drops. And hopefully these little tips can help you secure a PS5 in the coming weeks if you still haven't managed to get a PS5. So guys, tip number one, my main tip, first tip, numero uno. Number one tip guys is always go for the bundle. That's what I noticed with very, the single console sold out so quick guys. It sold out in seconds, it was gone. I don't know whether that was bots or whether that was humans, but it went like whoosh, gone. Close your eyes, gone. Blink, gone. That's what happened. So go for the bundles, guys. The very console that I almost checked out was the one where I went with the Miles Morales bundle. And I know a few other people that went with the additional wireless controller bundle and managed to check out. So always think about if you can afford it, then go for the bundle. Number two, guys, there's no other word for number two. Number two tip, <laughs> numero dos, is that always have an account with these providers. I had an account with Very, and I noticed when I was going to the checkout page, signing in and having my account there with payment and delivery details ready really helped as well. So I'd say with Very, all these different providers, if you can set up a new account with them, and it's free guys, there's nothing you have to do. Like just set up an account with them, put in your delivery details, put in your payment card already, or buy something from them, buy something small from them. Um, I don't even think you need to buy anything. You can just add your address and your payment details. But that really helped as well when it came to the very console, uh, which I almost checked out. So that's my second tip for you guys. Always try and have an account with these various stores already. Guys, number three, this is kind of like a double-edged tip. Number one is Stock Informer doesn't always make the alarm sound. If you're expecting Stock Informer to make the alarm sound, it doesn't always do that. I tested the alarm whilst we were doing a stock live checker video and when the very actually drop, it made no sound. It was quiet as a mouse. Like I was so annoyed. I was like, great. If I hadn't refreshed very, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to even see when very when did it stock, you know? Same with hot stock. Sometimes the updates are a bit late. So try and have these windows open if you can. Have an auto refresher installed like that refreshes your website every 20 seconds, 25 seconds, whatever, or do it manually if you can. Just don't do it very often, otherwise the websites lock you out thinking you're a bot or something. And guys, the second part of this tip is that don't go by what staff members say. A few people on our stock live checker yesterday were like, oh yeah, very is not gonna drop. Very is not gonna drop today. I talked to a few staff checkers and they said, no, it's not gonna drop. And it's like, buddy, those people don't know anything, you know? Those guys have no idea what happening and their job is to lead you astray they have no idea when the stock is actually dropping or even if they do they're not going to tell you so don't go by that guys and miss your opportunity whenever there is actual details like we had yesterday for very don't give up don't get demotivated i know for very like we had an initial time 11 a.m it didn't drop at 11 a.m then people started saying oh it's not going to drop it's not going to drop but then it came at 1 p.m which was a previous drop rate for very in the first place so guys, that's another thing. Don't always believe or go by what these people are saying or if someone tells you it's not gonna drop, go by what the majority is saying and just just take a punt, you know, take a chance. You never know what will happen. So that's all my tips, guys. Those three, three main things, please remember them for the next drop and try and implement them if you still haven't managed to get a PS5 as well. And guys, in the end, I just wanna thank everyone that subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. The channel is growing. I mean, in January, I just had five subscribers and already it's at 800. Thank you so much for your support, seriously. And guys, if you got the PS5, please don't leave the channel because I'm gonna be making content for you guys as well. I'm not gonna leave you behind. I'm obviously, there's still loads of people that haven't got PS5, so I still make the PS5 content, but I make sure to make content for you guys, whether that includes great deals on PlayStation Plus, great deals in the PlayStation Store you need to check out, new games that are incoming, reviews, all that sort of thing. So please stick to the channel because in the future, this will be a gaming channel, lifestyle hacks, anime, movies, you know, all that sort of thing that I say in my subscribe video that you must have seen by now. I always put it at the start. Stick to the channel and hopefully in the channel, we can grow together and take the channel to a different place. And as I mentioned, I'll be doing lots of giveaways. We're doing another giveaway at 1,000 subscribers as well. So please stick around for that and join the Instagram page if you haven't because the last giveaway at 500 subscribers happened on the Instagram page. So please join the Instagram page. As I always say, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys again in another video. Ciao.